everyone, Michael Chorby Lawn Care here again, and check this out. I'm at a new client's house, and this is their initial treatment. I just wanted to share some of the things that we see this time of year. Um, as you can tell, this lawn has a lot of weeds. I just wanted to document a before, then we'll revisit this lawn a little later in the season, so you guys can see the transformation out there. So all this green you're seeing, this is all weeds. A lot of henbit, some dandelion. This lawn has the full gamut of weeds. We have thistle. And so one of the things that homeowners need to consider when your lawn gets this weeded out, and as we start to get control, is you're gonna be left with a lot of bare spots. So all these weeds have choked out the lawn. So we're gonna come in and spray this, start to get the weeds under control. And when you're seeing a lawn with this many weeds, all this out here, that's not grass, that's that's all weed there. So the best thing they could have done is obviously you'd wanna mow, um, but we're gonna hit and go ahead and spray this now. You have the homeowner do a mow, then we may come back here ahead of time and, and give it another app. But I just wanted to share with you a before picture. Then I'll come back here in a few weeks and document the progress. A couple weeks ago, I shot a video of a new client's lawn. Uh, it was their first application, and they had a lot of weeds. And I wanted to do a follow-up. We're two weeks and three days from that initial treatment. And let's take a look what we're seeing here. So this side yard, um, you'll be able to refer to the other video. I'll end up linking these together so you'll see it as one. But this area right here was really weeded out with henbit and dandelion. And sorry for the glare of the sun here. But as you see now, there's all that's gone. There is a clump of Dallas grass here. But anyone knows that Dallas grass is going to take more than just your run-of-the-mill herbicide. Um, you're most likely going to need a shovel or a non-selective. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to share is now that these weeds are gone, you're left with some bare areas. And now that's where the fertilizer rehabilitation is going to begin. So the first step is get rid of those weeds. And the second step is we start fertilizing and start building that turf. Let's take a look at the backyard. Now, the backyard was really bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what we like to see after just one application. There is still a little bit of residual, some cleanup, but again, the original video, you can see how many weeds were back here. Thistle that were knee-high, henbit, dandelion, uh, cow parsley. This thing had the gamut of weeds. And there's a little bit of clover right there. We'll spot treat that while we're here. Now the fun part begins. Now the rebuilding. Getting these bare areas that were once occupied by weeds. We're going to start hitting it with a well-balanced fertilizer, a nice micro-pack, and get this lawn to start filling in. Um, I'm a big believer of top dressing. If you put some top dressing down here, a nice garden blend, you know, uh, aided with our fertilizer. I think over the course of this growing season, most of this is going to fill in nicely. So again, uh, if you got a lawn that's bombed out with weeds and you're wanting to get it under control, give us a call. Have a great day.